The court in France has found former President Nicolas Sarkozy guilty of corruption and influence peddling. The judges handed Sarkozy a three-year prison sentence, two of which are suspended. The 66-year-old is the second leader in France's modern history to be convicted of corruption. Natasha Butler is live for us at the court in Paris. Natasha, run us through uh, what exactly he's been found guilty of and, and does this mean that we're going to see a former president now heading to prison? Yes, uh, Nicolas Sarkozy becoming uh, the first former French president to be handed uh, a jail sentence. He was found uh, guilty by the court here in Paris of corruption and influence peddling, and he's been handed uh, a three-year jail sentence. So we understand two years suspended. Uh, the third year he may be able to carry out uh, under house arrest. Now, lawyers for Nicolas Sarkozy say that he does intend to appeal. Now, this case uh, focused on an incident in 2014 in which Sarkozy was charged with trying to influence a magistrate, trying to offer this magistrate a top job in return for information into another investigation which was being carried out at the time by police uh, on Nicolas Sarkozy over uh, campaign funds. Now, Nicolas Sarkozy, during the trial, always protested his innocence. He said that, uh, that he had been the victim of a political smear campaign, but it seems that the judge here in Paris disagreed, handing out this uh, jail sentence, a devastating blow indeed, uh, to Nicolas Sarkozy. So what then might this mean, Natasha, for Sarkozy's political ambitions? Well, Sarkozy served as president of France, a conservative president from 2007 to uh, 2012. But since he left office, since he left uh, the Elysee, he has really been, you might say, trying to stage a political comeback. In 2017, he even ran once again uh, for the presidency. And uh, over the years, he's certainly tried to position himself as a hope for the Conservative Party, perhaps for another presidential election campaign. But you'd have to say that this guilty verdict certainly uh, will deal a blow to those ambitions. It would be hard to imagine uh, that a, a former president with now a jail sentence to contend with could possibly uh, take the centre stage once again uh, politically. So very disappointing for Sarkozy, uh, his reputation in tatters, you might say. But as I said, the former French leader uh, making it very clear that he will appeal. OK, thank you for that. Natasha Butler, live for us at the court in Paris.